Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Amazon must-haves video because you guys love the first one so much and I love shopping, so why not do another one? Okay, starting with some electronics, one of the questions that I get constantly from you guys is which camera I use for vlogging. I mean, you guys are asking about all of the equipment we use when we're shooting video, but a vlog camera is always a really nice one to have. So this is what I use. This is the Canon G7X. I feel like a lot of influencers, content creators use this camera. What makes it such a nice camera is that it's really good video quality, but it's also just really straightforward and easy to use. Put the settings where you want it, throw it on auto and it's good to go. But it also has this little flip up screen, which is really nice if you're going like selfie style, you can see what's happening and talk to the screen and everything. And that's partially what makes it such a good vlogging camera, vlogging, not blogging. But uh, you know, one of the things I will say that's an issue with this camera is that it does not connect a external microphone. So if you really want good audio sound, that's something to consider. Otherwise, it's a really nice compact size. It's really durable because I throw it in my bag all the time. Sometimes I don't even know where it's at. Um, so this is a really good camera. Some of the great accessories it comes with are awesome too. Um, you can buy lots of other accessories for it. So it's just one of those things, like if you want some really quality pictures for Instagram, you want some quality video footage for YouTube, anything like that, this is a really good camera. I highly recommend it. I also think it's good pricing for the quality of the camera. It can start anywhere around $500 and go up, just depending on the kit you get, because some of them come with cards already, batteries, all of that stuff that you need. Um, otherwise, I would buy all of the extra stuff too. It also can send the footage to your computer, to your, your device over Wi-Fi, which I hardly actually ever use. I usually just use the card that's in it, but it's a really good vlog camera. It's a good starter camera if you wanna get into the YouTube game. Speaking of accessories for your G7X, one that I feel like people skip a lot but really shouldn't is a mini tripod. This one is from Manfrotto, and the reason why I like this is because it truly is, it's, it's a tripod. You can adjust the legs to the height that you want and then prop your camera somewhere. This is great if you wanna just talk to the camera for a second and you don't have anyone there to help you carry the camera or hold it. So you can just prop it up you know, write on the table, talk to it, do anything you need to do. The other thing I like though, is that it helps to stabilize your camera. So you can just hold it like this. And something that I would point out is, um, I like to have this on here at all times, even when I'm vlogging, just to hold it and stabilize. Because one, you don't want to have that shaky video footage if you're vlogging. Nobody wants to watch that at all and get sick and nauseous. But second, the audio is right here on the top of the camera and so sometimes when you're vlogging if you hold it you'll cover i've done this before you'll cover the audio and then you'll get this muffled sound and you don't even realize you're doing it so it's always helpful to just have this connected right here it just screws on it's really really easy you pop that on and then when you're vlogging you could just do this and it's stable you're not covering the sound and it just looks so much better it's a little bit more quality video footage all right next a mini sound machine. This is so tiny, like look at my hand. I have tiny hands, like child hands, and look how tiny this thing is. It's so small. I love this device. I use a sound machine to sleep. It helps me drown out all the noise around me. I wish I would have known this when I was in my early 20s that you could use a sound machine because I lived in New York City at the time and there were so many loud noises outside on the street all the time and I just learned to deal with it. But then I moved to Los Angeles and I, married my husband and he's the kind of person that needs a sound machine since I've like known him. He used to sleep with like a fan going and then we upgraded to a sound machine and it was life changing. We've just slept with the sound machine for the past 10 years, but then it got really important to have a sound machine once we had a baby. But we found that sometimes it was really annoying to unplug his sound machine, take it with us on trips and do all of that kind of stuff. Sometimes you'd forget it and sometimes you'd break it. So we didn't want to do that because the sound machine is so important for the baby too. So this is awesome because the sound machine that we have in Nikosh's room is by Electra. It's Electrofan as well, but it's the normal size version. So this is the small version. It's a travel size. It works really well. It's pretty amazing how loud this thing can get. You just turn the top of it and it clicks up just like that. And then you just press the button. Let's see if it's charged. So that's like a lower volume, but you can raise the volume which I'm lowering, actually.
and it can get pretty loud. Um, there are lots of different settings too. So if you like different types of noises, there's even like soothing, like ocean noises and that kind of stuff. I like the sound of a fan. So that's what I stick with. And that's what we've gotten Nikosh used to. But this thing is so awesome to have and it's not even that expensive. Um, I just always keep it in my travel suitcase because then I know where to find it and I'm not gonna forget it. I highly recommend it. It comes in this color and it comes in white. It's really a powerful little sound machine. All right, last of the electronics. This is not actually an electronic. It's the cover for an electronic. It's a silicone case for your iPhone. This looks just like it came from Apple, except it doesn't have the little Apple symbol. I like it because it feels nice and soft. It protects your phone and it's cheap. I love this color. Um, this is a color you can't actually get from Apple, which is one of the reasons why I bought this separately. All the buttons are really easy to use on this too. Nothing feels stiff. It's all really high quality. And I wouldn't care if I change out the colors constantly because it's under $10 for this thing. So I really like having different covers and cases. And I think this is a really great one. On Amazon, you can find so many different cases for your iPhone, and I, I just love that concept. It's like, you can just kind of go berserk and change out the colors of your iPhone covers whenever you want. But I just like changing them because I feel like they also just get really gross and dirty after a while. So a cheaper iPhone cover to me is invaluable. Next up is a pot for liquids. It's nonstick. It's literally made to pour liquids. This little pot, you guys didn't know you needed this and I didn't know for a little while, but last time I was pregnant, I just couldn't stand the smell of coffee. I love coffee, but while I was pregnant, it was the most disgusting thing. So I started drinking chai. My husband is Indian and chai just means tea. You know, when we think of chai here in the US, we think of like, you know, lots of different spices and stuff. And that is, that's how Indian chai is made. It's, it's Indian tea. It's just a black tea with like milk and you make it kind of like latte style with like cinnamon and cardamom and just lots of delicious spices in it. But I would make it in a pot the way I'd see my mother-in-law make it. She taught me how to make, um, you know, homemade chai and I would realize like the minute I tried pouring the chai into my mug, it would just get all over the place. And I also like to make like turmeric drinks and stuff like turmeric lattes and everything. And it just becomes so messy. So I found this pot on Amazon. It's ceramic, nothing sticks to it, which is another thing is like whenever you're warming up any kind of milk, like a, if I use almond milk, oat milk, regular milk, it gets warm and then it starts to stick to it. So you don't want that. This helps it not be sticky, um, but it's ceramic. So you're not getting like gross chemicals that are like Teflon or something on the inside when you're warming this up. It's small, but it's enough to make a couple, at least, you know, I could probably make three chais for somebody. Like I can make chais for three people and that's pretty much plenty. It's usually just a chai for myself anyway. And I just find this to be so helpful because you can pour. So if you're even making things like gravy or some kind of soup or something, this is just a really great pot to have. I feel like it gets skipped, this kind of a pot when you're buying like just a set of pots and pans for your kitchen. Um, they never seem to have something like this that has the little spout for you so that you can just easily pour something. Instead, you're like always constantly like trying to find like a big ladle or something like that. This is just so much easier to just tip over and pour. Okay, so I'm onto snacks. These are pitos. I recently discovered these. I can only find them on Amazon. So this is why they made it into my Amazon must haves. So I'm really into right now I'm pregnant. I'm into junk. Like I just want to eat junk all day long. And so I was really excited to discover these. A friend of mine actually had them for her kids as a snack. They really love them. And so I introduced them to Nikosh and he loves them too. This is the fiery hot. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend that for your child, but they have a masala flavor. They have an original flavor. Neither of them are spicy. They're just really delicious and salty. But what they are is they're like little puffed snacks made out of peas. So they're good for you ish, you know, like they're still snacks, but they're better for you than like your typical potato chips, which is something that I crave a lot. They have a little bit of protein in them, which is something you don't always get with these kinds of like puff snacks too. Um, there's no artificial flavors, no synthetic colors, no GMOs. They're gluten free. There's no added MSG. I think some of the flavors are even actually vegan, which is kind of cool. This flavor doesn't seem to be, be vegan because it doesn't say, but four grams of protein, three grams of fiber, and they're made out of peas, which is really, really awesome. Next of my snacks, cookie, as Nikash says. Um, these are the Hello Panda uh, chocolate cream filled cookies. I'm pregnant, I like snacking. 
And this is how I start my morning. It's like breakfast of champions. Nikosh likes this kind of tradition right now because, uh, because he gets to get a couple of cookies in the morning too. I actually try to eat as many as I can before he sees me eating them. And then I'll leave him like one or two so that he can get his cookies too, but I don't want it to like ruin his breakfast because he's not pregnant. So <laughs> he definitely shouldn't be eating cookies. I mean, I really shouldn't be eating cookies in the morning either, but these are so delicious. They're just like plain little cookies filled with a little bit of chocolate cream and they're so delicious. And I order a huge box that lasts me for the month. Haha, <laughs> this is like my second box in the last 30 days and they're de they're delicious. Hello Panda. Who knew? This has nothing to do with food, but it sort of has to do with the kitchen and it's only because I keep it in the kitchen. This is a magnetic dry erase board. I got this because I was sick of trying to remember to ask my nanny if there was anything I needed to know. You know, she would forget that, like maybe we needed to get more hand soap for the bathroom and she'd forget to tell me. And so it'd go, it'd be like a week before we ordered hand soap or we always want to know Nikosh's schedule. Did he poop today? It's a big deal, you guys, because if he didn't poop while he was with the nanny during the day, that means that we should be expecting a huge one. So, you know, like little things like that help us. And so it helps us to know we keep like emergency numbers, my phone number, my husband's phone number, his doctor's phone number, my mother-in-law's phone number. We keep all of that stuff on top because you know what? Sometimes our phones break or we lose them or whatever. You know, it's, it's like nobody memorizes phone numbers anymore. So I like having them on our refrigerator. It's easy to get to and see. And then we keep his little schedule. She'll write down his lunch every day, whatever snack he had, if he pooped and any notes we need to know. So anything that we need to buy and stuff. And it's really nice because you just erase it and then write whatever you want. So we change it out every single day and it's, it's become, you know, just really valuable for us. It's, we look at it every single day and we use it every single day and it just sits right on top of our refrigerator. Next up, it's kind of, I guess, along the same lines as like a magnetic dry erase board because you can use that in an office too. They're these desk pads. They're really big. If you see, I got this pink blush color. I bought these actually for the mixed makeup team. You know, we sit at this huge table basically and it's made out of glass. The whole top of it is made out of glass. And I realized it can get a little bit annoying because you want to have like a coaster for your drinks. Sometimes I'm like three drinks deep during the day. I don't know why I like have like a water. I have a boba and I have like a tea or something. It's like the strangest thing. I have so many drinks sitting next to me on my desk, you know, because we've got like a gla glass top and stuff. You don't want to like see through it necessarily. Like if I'm doing any Instagram stories of products that we just got and stuff, it really just kind of helps to have a placemat that like that just kind of says, this is my little spot. This is where I wipe everything down and stuff. And I keep everything. I don't get any marks on the table from my drinks and stuff. And you can also use it as a, a mouse pad as well. Like it's the same kind of material as an, as a mouse pad. It's nice to have your place setting at a desk. And that's what I use these for. And since we're on like home and office kind of stuff, um, you don't see it in front of me, but I bought some sheets. I actually went on this like test run with like different types of sheets online. And I was buying like the really fancy bed sheets and the ones that like all these people are buying online that are really like trendy right now and stuff. And I found them all to be pure crap, just terrible. And I feel like it's all just Instagram marketing. I went on to Amazon because I feel like Amazon just has everything you need. And I found these sheets. They're from a brand called Zen Luso. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, but they come in some pretty basic colors, gray, white. We go with white on our bed. The material is great. They're, it's bamboo, which is, you know, just a really nice cotton, but they feel silky. And that's what I like about them. They don't get hot and they don't get, um, like if you get sweaty and stuff, it just absorbs it well and everything. And I just think they're very nice, high quality bed sheets. And I liked them so much for our bed that I eventually got them for Nikosh's bed too, because I just feel like they're so nice and you want something that's going to be really soft and smooth, especially like Nikosh. I don't give him, I use, a silk pillowcase as you guys saw in my last Amazon video, but you know, I don't buy him silk pillowcases, but this is just as soft and just as smooth. Um, and I, I just feel like the quality is great. We've washed them several times. We wash them at least once a week and they don't get gross and pilly or anything like that. And they just feel really nice and soft. And when you first get into bed, they feel nice and cool on your body too, which I think is a big deal, especially during the summertime. If it's so hot, you want your sheets to feel nice and cool. Like when you're sleeping, you stick your hand under your pillow. It feels nice and cool. You know, it's like, you don't want to be like, 
uh, and it's hot or you don't want to get into you know I bought these sheets from Pottery Barn for um, Nikosha's bed at first and they were so stiff and gross and they were expensive I was really disappointed they were just so gross and stiff and it's like who wants to sleep in this it feels like I'm sleeping in like crinkly paper or something instead I want to be in like dreamy cloudy heaven and that's what these sheets feel like speaking of material that's really soft and silky we all know that scrunchies scrunchies what do we, how do we call these? What do we call these? Scunchies, scrunchies? I've heard people say scunchies. I think that's like a brand, like an actual hair accessories brand. These are scrunchies. This is by a brand called Meek, Mike, M-Y-K. They're made out of silk and I really love them. I just went ahead and bought a three pack of like black ones because my hair is dark anyway. Um, I'm not trying to make like a fashion statement when I'm wearing these, I actually have them in my bathroom drawer so that when I'm getting ready for bed or getting ready in the morning and I want my hair back, I use these because they're really gentle on your hair. They're not gonna tear. Silk helps to preserve, you know, it's not, it's not gonna like give you split ends and everything, which is always a bonus because you don't want your hair to get all these like flyaways and gross ends and stuff. So silk is always nice for your hair. They're cute, they're trendy right now too, but they also don't cause an indentation in your hair because they're not so tight. Like I wouldn't try to put up like a huge top knot or something with these because my hair is too thick and heavy for that. But if I'm just gonna do a quick low ponytail, these are nice to have. Silk, scunchies, scrunchies. And last of my Amazon must-haves, we were kind of like in the beauty category with the, uh, with the scrunchies. Floss is very important to me. This is Dr. Tung's Smart Floss. I found this brand on Amazon. I was looking for kind of like a better, thicker floss. Like, I feel like the floss these days is like really thin. It's really waxy. And when you're using it, I feel like you you like push down a little bit and sometimes it like cuts your gums. Have you ever done that? I've cut my gums before and made them bleed and I don't like that. I floss every single night, so I want something that I'm gonna really enjoy. These are nice because it's like a nice thick kind of floss, but it's not super waxy and I feel like it actually gets like everything out instead. I feel like those like really thin waxy ones just don't. And it does have a coating, but it's not like a gross candle wax kind of coating. It's like a natural plant wax and beeswax. I think together is what it says. You know, it's like thin when you use it, but it expands like as you're using it. So it's a little bit thicker too. And I just feel like it works so much better. And it also comes in, um, like different kinds of scents and stuff and flavors. One of the flavors is cardamom, which I just really like. This one's more minty. I like the functionality of the little container for it. It covers it up. So if you're traveling with it, it doesn't get gross. You know, you don't have to like cut off the end of it and then use it. So I don't know, I'm fancy with my floss, okay? And this comes in a big pack that you can purchase on Amazon and it'll last you forever. So those are my Amazon must-haves. I know it's a lot of random stuff, but isn't that what we buy on Amazon is a lot of random stuff that we didn't know we needed. It's what I always buy, stuff we need, stuff we don't need. But I always find I really love all the things that I buy on Amazon. So those are my Amazon must-haves. Tell me in the comments below if you've tried any of these products, if you're gonna buy any of these products, or if there's something that I need to check out. Find me on Instagram, I'm at Susan Yara, and I'll talk to you soon, bye.